Interview and job search strategies that work. You know, in the, um, we've talked about on how to find a job and, and, and what's, uh, what's a good method. Uh, let me tell you about some methods that probably are not um, a good idea in some regard to do. And, you know, a couple of them are like, uh, one, one that comes to mind is, is not researching uh, the company I'm interviewing for. So not even knowing who they are or uh, not even going to like their website. Most people, most companies have websites or, if, you know, if they have a LinkedIn or uh, a Facebook and just familiarizing yourself. That's a lot of times what I'll do is I'll talk to recruiters uh, like a third party, like a, a tech systems, Aerotech, and I'll ask them, you know, who's the person I'm interviewing with? What's their name? Uh, so I can Google them, right? Because I want to know what maybe what kind of. What, what can I expect when I talk to them? Are, are they, um, were they in the military? Were they only, um, is this their only job they've ever had? Um, are they a college grad? Um, and they've, this is the only job they've ever had. You know, have they had many jobs? Is it on their LinkedIn? Have they had, you know, and then that, and that means a lot because they're able to um, talk to them in such a way, to kind of, you know, figure them out a little bit, right? Because they're trying to figure out uh, as an, a potential candidate, but at the same time, you want to know how, how to talk to them as well. So knowing a uh, second one or another one is when you talk to HR, uh, when you're interviewing with HR, you know, a lot of times it's probably been said and you probably know it, their job is to weed, weed you out. You know, that's the, their job is to say, not this person's not qualified, basically. That's the function of the HR people. And, um, I know in, in IT, I don't know how it is for other uh, industries that much, but I know in IT, I'm always talking to um, a technical, uh, the technical manager or the IT operations manager or something like that. I, I rarely talk to the HR um, and, and th unless it's after the fact. Another one is only only talking about your resume. Um, you know, oh, you can see my resume and, and that's how you talk about it. You know, a lot of companies... You know, they really, they want to know you. They really don't want to know everything about your resume. And, you know, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, how do I, how do I exhibit that? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, it's worked for me in the past, by the way. Uh, it's currently working for me because that's what I do. What I'll do is I'll put uh, a lot of relevant stuff on my resume, but I don't put a lot of, a lot, you know, and because I want the potential I want the company to ask me questions so I can open up and I can give them more context and I can talk about my failures in IT, my successes in IT, and plus when I don't have a lot of stuff in my resume, that leads me, you know, I could say, I can maybe say in the conversation, yeah, you know, I didn't put a lot of, I have a lot more skills, but I didn't put my resume. And that leads into another conversation that they probably want to have with you is, oh, well, tell me more about that, you know, then you kind of gauge their interest in you as a candidate. So another one is um, talking about how I can, you know, I can save the world, right? You know, and probably that's the case, you know, uh, but a lot of times they usually already have people that do that. What they want to hear from, what they want to hear from you is how can you work with our team currently to make them better? If you say that, oh man, you are, you're golden, really. Because obviously, I don't know if you know this or not, but most people can learn pretty much about anything in IT pretty much in a weekend. They're going to YouTube pretty much. But what they can't learn or what they don't learn is how to talk to other folks. Talk to your other your colleagues on the team. Get them engaged. Uh, the personal skills. The, I call them the soft skills, and that's what other industry people call them as well. Imagine it's almost like you're you're the floor leader. Uh, how do I what do I mean by that? I mean you're like the number two, the leader, uh, not a manager. The leader uh, is doing things, and you know if you know something about say NetApp, and your other colleagues don't, and they don't know that. Well, if given the opportunity, teach them, teach your colleagues that, and. When you're interviewing, talk, talk about that, actually. 
you know, don't do the reverse and say, I, I don't want to teach anybody. No, no. I mean, you always want to teach people, right? I mean, um, and even if you don't tell them you do, because, um, that's what they want to hear. Right. And if you're the type of person that doesn't teach, you're probably going to be, you're probably not going to be, um, or the person type person that holds information in and wants to like, doesn't want to share it basically for whatever reason, for fear of like, they'll know more than me. Probably it is not the right for you, not the right fit for you. Um, because, um, you know, newsflash, not everybody uh, in IT, nobody in IT knows everything. Even the person that's calling themselves like an SME subject matter expert, blah, 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 and all this sort of stuff. They don't know everything. They don't know. It's just a title. Uh, Vince Cerf. He's the one that started. Well, he's on, in, on, in history as one of the ones who started the IP protocol. I'm sure he doesn't know everything about all the routing protocols right now. I'm sure. No way. It's too many things to learn. But he he started the whole thing, right? I mean, he he and some other uh, individuals did it, but he started the whole thing. <laughs> so, you know, what I'm saying is, I guess, give yourself a little, give yourself a break. Uh, if, you, if you're like a, a nervous Nelly about, I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to... I don't want to say that I don't know anything or I don't want to say like, you know, come off as dumb or whatever when you're interviewing because you don't want to be wrong. You know, um, it, it's like a analysis paralysis. You know, I want to analyze everything I say before I say it because I want to make sure it's right. Um, they don't care. They really don't. I mean, they're going to make mistakes. They know you make mistakes. That means you're human, right? Another thing not to do is not to cave in. Um when they offer you money, like, you know, and because you don't want to be too desperate, right? You don't want to be like begging for the job, basically. You want to know when you go in what you're, what you, what you're going to earn, what you want to earn, basically, right? And you want to know, okay, I'm, I'm valuable to this company, you know, um, don't, don't beg for the job, basically. Don't do that. You know, don't, not, not I mean, you're not going to beg for it, right? But don't, don't come off as like, Oh, I need this job so bad, you know, basically. And, you know, like I said, the more interviews you go on, the the less you're going to have to worry about that because you won't have to worry about, oh, I need a, I need a job immediately. And then you're going to take whatever job comes to you, right? But if you, if you constantly interview uh, for a job, for whatever job it is, you know, you're always refreshing your skills, always keeping them, keeping them up to date on uh, whatever the marketplace says. And, you know, like I said, interviews give you a chance to understand what the marketplace wants. What kind of skills do they need? You know, they, do they want you to know um, NetApp? Do they want, you know, EMC, Quantum, whatever, whatever type of storage, basically. So those are just some, you know, kind of like interview strategies or interview, um, well, interview, you know, well, they are interview and job search strategies that work, and they do work. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks, everybody, for listening to this podcast, and have yourself a great day.